Hey everyone, you're from Tunnel Vision TV and in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to create a very simple character lip syncing rig in After Effects. So first of all I've got this uh, PNG file of my character and then I've got seven different mouths, also PNG files um, with a alpha channel as you can see there. So I've created this comp which is just a five second HD comp and I'm going to bring in my character and then I'm going to bring in all these different mouths. Okay, I'm just going to put it above my character and then just move it into place and scale it if needed. Okay, next you want to create a, a slider control on your character. So I'm going to right click on my character layer, go to effect, go to uh, expression controls and click on slider control. All right, and then you want to right click on that slider, click on edit values. And because we have seven mouths, I'm going to set the range from zero to seven. It's actually giving us a range of eight, which is fine. We're going to use one if for some reason we don't want to show one of these mouths. Okay, click on OK. And um, then I want to expand this character, expand effects, and until we can see the uh, slider. And then let's start with mouth number one. So I'm going to press T on my keyboard while I've got that layer selected. So I've got opacity, and then I'm going to hold in Alt on the keyboard, click on the stopwatch so that we can see the expression. All right, and then we're going to use the pick whip, drag that to our slider, and it's going to give us the, basically that's the value of that slider. And then we're just going to create a quick if statement here. So I'm going to write if, space and then we're going to open bracket and i'm going to go to the end of that and then space and then double equal sign and let's say uh if it's equal to one then i'm going to close my bracket and then i'm going to say the opacity will be 100 and if it's anything else so just write else and then put zero so that basically means if this slider is set to one um, the opacity of that layer will be 100 if the slider is set to anything else, this opacity will be set to zero. Okay, so let's quickly test that. I'm gonna hide all these other mouths and um, then I'm gonna set my slider to one and you'll see that we have that mouth. If I set it to something like two, that mouth will disappear. Okay, I'm gonna set this back to zero for now and then I'm just gonna copy this expression. So just highlight it and copy it. And then I'm gonna do the same to all the other layers. Let me just unhide all these layers. So second mouth, press T for opacity, hold in Alt, click on the stopwatch and just paste that. And then basically you wanna set this to, if the slider is um, has got a value of two, you wanna do the same. And let's go to number three, press T, Alt, stopwatch, paste that and let's make this if the slider is set to three. And um, as you can see, you will probably get the picture by now expand that one set this one to four and i'm just going to quickly run through all of these okay so i've done all those uh, expressions on the mouths so what you can do now is you can actually hide all these layers so to do that is just highlight all the mouths and then click on this shy button and then click on this button here to just hide all those layers now i only have one layer to worry about and if you set the slider to let's say one you'll see the first mouth if you set this to two and uh, three and so on and that just makes it really easy to animate between these different mouths so basically if you bring in your audio file or if you bring in a uh, video clip with some audio on it you can try and, and match it using these or just animating the slider so let's set this to one and i'm gonna click on the stopwatch um, let me just expand that so we can see those keyframes and let's go to frame number five and what you want to do is you want to set one keyframe and then move on one keyframe and then change the value because you wanted to keep uh, mouth number one from there to there and then you want it to change. Okay, and then let's go to that one, set another keyframe, go one frame further and let's set this to maybe seven and uh, let's go a few frames further, set a keyframe, one frame further, let's set that to maybe mouth number five and um, so on. So it's really simple, you can create one more, let's do maybe two and if for some reason you want to remove the mouth, you can actually set this to, let's just create one more, and then you can set this value to zero. If for some reason you don't want to show uh, that layer. And there you go. As you can see, it's really simple to create this uh, lip syncing rig. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial. Give me a thumbs up if you did. And also remember to click on that subscribe button if you want to be notified of new weekly tutorials. Thanks a lot for watching.